So topic one, what is really a product or the concept of a product? Product is a bundle of utilities consisting of various product features and accompanying services. That is, it is something a firm markets that will satisfy a personal want or fill a business or a commercial need. Having said that, let's look at the various product levels. At the center, we have the core benefit, followed by the basic product, followed by expected product, with the augmented and finally the potential product. Let's understand these various levels as to what they really mean. The first being the core product, which is right in the center. Core product is the one which offers the core benefit of the product. That is, what does the product really mean to the customer? For example, a bread offers the core benefit of reducing hunger or a hotel provides the core benefit of providing sleep and rest to a customer. Having said that, the next level is the generic product. Here the product is unbranded and undifferentiated a commodity. For example, rice, bread, flour or any random cloth or any random hotel which you could find on any other road place. The third category being the branded product. The branded product gets an identity through a name. For example, Modern Bread or Harvest are branded products or the ITC or the Taj group of hotels. The next category is the differentiated product. Differentiated product enjoys a distinction from other similar products or brands in the market. The differential claimed may be real or with a real distinction on ingredient quality, utility or service provided or it may be totally psychological brought about through subtle sales appeals and by promotional techniques. For example, close-up toothpaste offers freshness and bold intimate social interaction amongst youth whereas its rival Colgate offers prevention of tooth decay with freshness. The next category and the level being the customized product. Here, the customer's specific requirements are taken into account while developing the product. Commonly practiced in the industrial product marketing, wherein the manufacturer and the user are in direct contact and the product gets customized to the requirements of the consumer. For example, a ready-made garment represents customization for a large group of people. When we buy one, we ask for alteration for our shape and size. However, on the other hand, if we give a cloth to a tailor for stitching, the garment is completely customized for us. The next being the augmented product. This is the result of voluntary improvements brought about by the manufacturer in order to enhance the value of the products which are neither suggested by the customer nor expected by them. The marketer on his own augments the products that it improves the product by adding an extra facility or an extra feature to the product. For example, refrigerators are augmented with extra shelves, more shelf space, double doors, etc. When we go into a hotel, the basic criteria, the core product we are looking for is sleep. The basic we are looking out is for certain good amount of bed, good quality of food over there providing and the service. However, when it comes to augmented, we are looking for internet service over there. We are looking for a 24 hour desk or 24 hours food service. We are looking for TV with control, remote systems and AC and everything. The next level being the potential and the final level of product, which is tomorrow's product carrying with it all the improvement and fitness possible under the given technological, economic and competitive conditions. That is, there are no limits to the potential product, only the technological and economic reforms of the firm set the limit. For example, robot managed house, artificial hearts, flying cars, space travel jets, etc. all represent the potential products.